and today we're gonna be making shrimp scampi. It is a decadent, luscious dish that's perfect. I love to make it for date night in, so if you're making kind of a special meal, I definitely suggest this. It's so, so good, it's rich, but yet yeah, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps for shrimp scampi. All right, first, the noodles. We're gonna make a pasta dish. You can make just the shrimp, skip the pasta. I would suggest you have some crusty bread to soak up all of that. I suggest a long, thin noodle. Spaghetti or angel hair will work. This one is a spaghetti alla chitara, and I love this because it's like a rough cut, and it soaks up all of the sauce. So if you can find this one, I suggest this. Um, linguine, fettuccine all work well. Um, just be careful with the angel hair because it's really easy to overcook. So, just keep that in mind when you're picking out your noodle. So I'm just gonna open this up. I've already got our salted water boiling. And I'm gonna put these in. All right, I've got my noodles here. If you're making this for two, then use about half a pound of the noodles. If you're making it for a bigger group, then we'll use a pound. I'll have all of these details on the blog, natalieparamore.com, you can just search Shrimp scampi. So here we go. Just gonna put these pasta noodles right in this boiling salted water. So the key with this is that you want your noodles to be a little undercooked because we're gonna finish cooking them later when we make the sauce. So these say 11 to 13 minutes. I'm gonna cook them for about seven or eight minutes. So just keep that in mind when you're boiling these. And also make sure you reserve some of that pasta water, that starchy, salty water. We're gonna use that for our sauce. While these are boiling, we are going to get our shrimp prepared. Here we have some wild caught gold shrimp. Um, you can use whatever you want local. I like to get them with the tails on. So we are going to peel these and devein them. I've got my little discard bucket down here that I'm just putting these in. And here we go, I've got just peeling these shrimp and I'm gonna put them in this bowl over here. If you are making this for four, use a whole pound of shrimp. If you're making it for two, use a half pound of shrimp. If you're making it for more or less, you know, you can do the math. So just wanna Easily just remove the shells, they come off super easy, the little legs, and just discard those. We don't have any need for them in this recipe. We are going to devein these shrimp. So using a sharp knife, just kind of go down along the back. And then I'm gonna open these up and just take out this black stuff, this vein, and throw it away. And now your shrimp's ready. You can buy these sometimes already peeled and deveined. However, you know, I like the tails on for the extra flavor. So if you want the tails on for the extra flavor, sometimes you gotta do a little extra work. Now we've got our shrimp all ready to go. We're just gonna set those aside for a minute. And we are going to prepare some of our other ingredients. This is a flat leaf parsley. Um, I definitely suggest using flat leaf and not curly. So I'm just gonna remove the bottom half, which is mostly stems, and you can discard those or compost them. And then I'm going to mince up the rest of this. And we are gonna use this later on in our dish. Okay, we've got this all minced up. I'm just gonna scoot it to the side there. Next up, this is a shallot, and we wanna use about half of the shallot. Shallots, I'm gonna show you, you peel them, and like, there's like two pieces inside, so it's really easy to divide a shallot. 
So it's kind of like in between an onion and garlic, but you see here how there's two pieces once you peel this back. So we've peeled that skin away. And I'm just going to take off the ends. And I'm going to thinly slice this up. So, just like that. And I'm just gonna chop it roughly. Okay, you can kind of set your shallot aside. Keep it separate from the parsley dough. Next up, we have four cloves of garlic, which I have here. Peel them. I have this little rolly thing. I've linked to it on my favorite kitchen tools. Um, it's so easy. You put the piece of garlic in there and you just roll it like this. It comes out and the skin just peels right off. I mean, it's a total time saver. I definitely suggest using this tool. Okay, for the garlic, I am just removing the ends here. And these are pretty big cloves, so I'm just gonna cut them in half for my mincer. Okay, now for the fun part. It's about to get really, really delicious. I've got half a stick of butter here, and I'm just going to pop it into my pan, and we're gonna melt it with the garlic and the shallots. Now I'm going to mince up my garlic and I'm just gonna do it right in the pan. It makes it so much easier. Okay, I've got my garlic in there and now I'm going to add my shallots. Okay, now I'm just going to get these nice and fragrant. In there with the butter, maybe a minute, two minutes max. I'm gonna add just a little sprinkle of salt. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my shrimp right in with the butter and the shallots, and we're gonna let these cook. Now we've got these shrimp in here with this garlic butter sauce. They are just gonna soak this up, get so, so much flavor. We wanna wait until these are nice and pink. That will be our indicator that they are cooked through. We're gonna go about two or three minutes on each side of the shrimp. Okay, now that our shrimp are nice and pink, we are going to add the pasta. And I like to add it just straight from the bowl into the pan. It gets a little of that water in there that I was telling you about. It makes a little bit of a mess, but hey, whatever. Now I'm just tossing this all together just letting it get nice and incorporated. That pasta, because it has the rough cut, is going to soak up all of that butter and garlic and flavor. Now as you're tossing this, you'll notice the noodles are soaking up a lot of the heat. You might need to take your heat down to medium, but remember I told you to save the pasta water? I just use a little scoop. I'm adding half a cup of water in my pan. Add another half a cup. This starchy pasta water just adds a lot of flavor and just helps your noodles finish cooking. While your noodles are soaking up that extra pasta water we just added, I am going to grate in some Parmesan Reggiano. I use 24 months, it's a bold, strong flavor. Um, just make sure you use real Parmesan Reggiano. It has like a really great flavor that is gonna add a lot to this dish. And I'm just gonna grate this right in the pan. Just gonna incorporate all that yummy, salty Parmesan. And of course, top your dish at the end with a bunch of Parmesan too. Next up, I'm gonna add a little lemon zest right into the pot. I'm just gonna zest it 
Using the same zesters for the Parmesan, it's all going to the same place. Lemon is a really common ingredient in a lot of Italian food. I think sometimes we Americans think of Italian food as just like red sauce, but a lot of Italian food has citrus in it and of course seafood. Italy is a peninsula, so that's kind of where the inspiration for this dish came from, was from our travels to Italy when you know we had a lot of like seafood pasta dishes that I loved. As you're doing this, you'll notice that the pasta water is getting soaked up by the pasta noodles, as well as the shrimp, and it's just creating its own just luscious sauce. Okay, now comes an important part. I am just going to turn off the heat now that my sauce is nice and thick. And we are going to add our final finishing touches. So for this, I am going to add some heavy cream because I am making a creamy shrimp scampi. So if you're making this for two, use about half a cup. For four, use a full cup. The reason you wanna turn down the heat or turn it off all the way is because the high heat will curdle the cream. So make sure that you have your heat on a very low setting or turn it all the way off. It will continue to thicken as you're stirring it. Next up, we're gonna add our salt and our peppers. I like to use black and red pepper. Um, you can use just black if you don't want it to have a little spice to it, but I think that the red pepper flakes add a lot. Just mix that all in there really nicely evenly seasoning your pasta and your sauce. Again, like I said, this is just such a like decadent meal. It feels like date night. It tastes like date night. I love it. If you've been following me for a while, you know Brandon and I love cooking big meals at home for date night. Um, so this is a really fun option if you're staying in. Last but not least, we are going to add in our minced parsley. gonna add a nice like earthy balance to all of this butter and salt and yumminess that we have in here and it adds a great color as well okay I've got my pasta here I'm gonna add a few finishing touches a little bit of parsley on the top, a tiny, tiny bit more lemon zest for color, more Parmesan, of course. And if you like, a bit of red pepper. And there you have it. This is one of my date night end dishes. This is a creamy shrimp scampi. I hope you enjoy it. If you want the full recipe and video, you can find that on my blog, natalieparamore.com. Just search shrimp scampi and this will pop right up and you can follow along and make this at home.